Hey everyone, so we're back at Milton Theatre. Love Me Tender is on all week and I went to see the show last night and it was incredible. So I am so excited to get to go backstage right now into Misha Paris's dressing room and have a chat to her. Well, we are joined by Misha Paris. Hi. Hello. We, we have just been talking. It's the usual thing of me just getting carried away. But saw the show last night, absolutely loved it. Yeah, it's, the show is really, for me, it's just joy to do it because you know, every single night we're just laughing our heads off. And I mean, who doesn't want to laugh all the time? Um, the second thing I think is uh, people see the, the Elvis sign on the show and they assume that it's just going to be this tribute to Elvis. And it's actually not that at all. You know, it's his music, but the story is completely different. And the way that the music has changed, like, yeah, they're Elvis songs, but uh, the first scene in the jail, I thought was incredible, the way that that built up and escalated. Yeah. It's really something quite unique. It is. It is. It's a unique take on... When you think of the amount of times people have taken Elvis and made a show out of Elvis, I mean, the poor man, he must be turning in his <laughs> grave all the time. Do you know what I'm saying? The amount of Elvis shows you've heard of. And what makes this different um, is because, as I said... It's almost like, it kind of reminds me, that the only way to describe it, it's a bit like Baz Luhrmann, the way he did Romeo and Juliet. The way you thought you were going to go and see the usual Romeo and Juliet, and then when you saw it, it was completely different. Yeah. It's kind of like that, in that way, where, you know, I think um, Karen Bruce is just a brilliant director. She's amazing, you know, and she's, she's the one that has really sort of put this thing together so f I mean, Jesus, I don't know how she's done it. <laughs> Such a short space of time. We literally went in in May and we started rehearsing in May and then we were on the road in June. And it was literally no, we haven't stopped since. It's just been go, 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 go. When they approached you, was your instant reaction yes? Or did you think, hang on a second, is this going to be the same as all of the other Elvis shows that there's been? My first, my first thing was, um, as always with anything, I never, I'm never quick to say no. I'm quick to say, let's have a look. Yeah. So, and, and it's like I always say to people, I, I've done so many things in my career now. And most of the time, um, I mean, if you had asked me 30 years ago, you know, would I have done TV, would I have done radio, and would I have yeah. done all these things, I'd look at you and thought, you're a complete nutcase. <laughs> and I've ended up doing all the things I never yeah. thought I would do. But because I, I always try to do something at least once, and if I make a complete twit out of myself, I won't do it again. So I didn't do that. I, I said, let me have a look at the script. So I read the script. When I read the script, I was blown away by Sylvia, number one. The Sylvia is my character. Yeah. And she's just me with an American accent. <laughs> and that's the only difference. She's American. But she is me. Everything about her is me. Her feistiness. Her, everyone assumes that she's going to beat the crap out of them yeah. and it's completely the opposite it's a lot of people get that with me as well like i'm five foot ten i'm, I'm a you know i'm a very <laughs> tall girl so basically when people meet me they're immediately like oh my god i'm terrified and then they realize afterwards that it's just it's just the height thing and i'm just as you know i'm just a nutcase <laughs> and there's nothing deep about it you know i'm just a very just let's all have a laugh and yeah. let's just get on with it that's the kind of person i am so she's very much like me and she's always about helping everyone and stuff like that and that's what i do anyway so it, it, when i read sylvia's character I thought she's me, so it's easy. Um, acting for me has always been something where I think I, I'll only do it if it reminds me of myself. I'm not very keen on the idea yeah. of trying to be someone else uh, because I just don't think I'll be very good at it <laughs> because I'm too good at being me, you know? So first I read Sylvia. I thought she was great. Then I saw the story and I read the story and I thought, wow, that's really cute because you would never assume this story would go with Elvis songs. And I thought that was clever. Mm. And then I thought to myself... You know, right now, a lot of people you meet, all ages, you get the same thing. I'm so sick of clubs. I'm so sick of this. And yeah. I'm so sick of that. And you get in it everywhere. You know, we don't have Top of the Pops anymore. We don't yeah, have yeah. really, we don't have anywhere we can really, music is everywhere, isn't it? Yeah. And now you don't even know where to go because there's too much choice. It's a bit like going to one of those big department stores and there's like seven versions of one yeah. thing. And it's very hard now for people to go somewhere feeling that they're going to get everything in one. And what I thought was, was great about the show is that you're going to get two and a half hours of just absolute dance, laughing, um, great songs, and a great story and you're getting everything that you would probably usually go to four or five different yeah. places to get all in one place i think that's really cool i really like that and what you said is so true watching the show last night the on-stage chemistry between the whole cast yeah. 
is it's it's like awe inspiring really you i got goosebumps at one point because you really feel it and it, you do know that you're having fun oh you're God. all like smiling your you heads off you cannot come yeah. to this show and leave thinking I'm depressed. No way, oh God, I wasted my money. It's not that. Yeah. Every single person will come out of the show going, oh my gosh, that was brilliant. And that's what's that's been true. going on. It, it, and that's what we feel every time. And I'm not just hyping it, because I'm one of those, I mean, <laughs> yeah. I, I've stayed away from plays, um, musicals, just theater. Yeah. I've stayed away from theater for 20 years. I haven't done a play since 20 years ago. You know, that's because yeah, I was yeah. just like, nah, it's not really, <laughs> not it's not really my thing. Because I did one once, um, and it was in the West End. It was very successful, did really well. But I, I didn't enjoy the experience. Yeah. And I think, I know what it was. I think it's really because it was too close to home. It was a gospel musical, and I've been running from church since yeah, I was 15, yeah. do you know? <laughs> <laughs> because I had so much church growing up. I had church for 15 years. Yeah. I was going six days a week. So, Singing. yes, I'm doing, doing the thing. <laughs> and, you know, and so I, th I think that's probably why. And also, I think I'm older, and I think, you know, uh, I don't know why, but I'm loving this experience. Now, maybe if I was doing it all the time, I wouldn't feel like this. But because uh, my head's different from 20 years ago, um, I've had so many different things I've done. I've done so many things that are really fun and exciting and new. This feels new for me, and that's why I think I'm enjoying it. But, but also, I think it's, you know, we have a great cast. Um, everyone gets on. Everyone just loves each other and everyone loves the show. So it's one of those things where you can't not like it, even if you wanted to. One thing I notice as well is quite often you go to these musicals and you've got the lead singers and they're, don't get me wrong, they're really yeah. good and the backing vocals yeah. are, are okay, but someone always stands out. Yeah. Obviously you are a hard. star, no, but everyone, everyone in this is. show is incredibly yes, on yeah, point. Yeah, yeah. Right. it's and that is a rare thing in a musical. Well, it really is, and it goes back to the director because yeah. remember she's the one that's picked everyone, so she picked really well. Yeah, I mean down to the dancers, <laughs> they they can sing, you know, they can sing their asses off. I mean everyone is really yeah. talented, and this is what I'm saying: when you have someone who's a great director, who has a great vision, who has experience as well. I mean Karen has done some really good shows. I mean she's an award-winning yeah. director for God's sake. There's a reason. Do you know she's really good at it? And uh, you know, even down to Laura, sorry, Tebbit, who's the mechanic. Yeah. Oh, she's she, got the most oh, incredible, wow. incredible voice. This girl can sing her face off. And she's just a kid, do you know yeah. what I mean? She's 28, she's a baby, do you know what I mean? Compared to me, anyway, everyone's, <laughs> everyone's a baby compared to me. But she's just like, you know, incredible. And then you've got Aretha, Aya, who's yeah. my daughter, yeah. uh, plays Lorraine. Oh, she's amazing. And then you've got Mark. Oh my God, Mark's amazing. And Mark is the geek. Yes. And what a voice. He, yes, oh, so God. strong. Great voice. Great, voice, yeah. Great actor too, let's not get it twisted. Yeah. This is someone who does both really well. The same with Laura. Um, so we're, you know, and then I've got Sean there, and Sean and I, we yes. just, off, you know, off stage, we get on like, I mean, it's like I've known him. That's what I wanted to ask. My you. whole life. Yeah. I love that man. Uh, from <laughs> day one, you know, when I got into rehearsals with with him, I mean, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm like green in this world, you know? And I walked in there and I was looking at, I was like rabbit in the headlights, walked into rehearsal, seeing all these actors around me going, oh, I don't know if I've done the right <laughs> thing here. You know, these guys are all fully trained. And, and he just looked at me and he just went, Mish. You're gonna be fine. <laughs> and then he just, every time I would mess up my lines and stuff like that, he would go, he'd always do that. And that would always make me go, oh yeah, I remember now. You know, so he, oh, he that's just, really nice. this was in the beginning. Yeah. Like now it's walking apart now. Yeah, but yeah. in the beginning, I was, you know, I was really scared. And the thing is, people look at me and think I don't get frightened, but I get frightened all the time. But I just don't show it, but yeah. it's all going off inside. Inside, you're like fireworks. Fireworks, like, <laughs> like volcanic eruptions, you know, it's all happening. So when you're off stage then, yeah. let's go off stage, yeah. what does Misha Paris do when you're on tour? After the show, before the show, are you prepping, are you relaxed, or are you going out with the cast? Oh or? no, God no. I mean, I love them dearly, and they're all younger than I am, so I, I'm really, I probably go out once a month with them, and I usually drag them all to wherever I am, and <laughs> we have, I, you know, I get them drinks, and we have a hangout. I do that kind of once every four weeks yeah. with everybody, because I'm tired. I yeah. can't do it. We have eight shows a week, and um, you know we have one day off. It's and when so I have, hard. yeah, I, literally, I've had to have my, you know, my boyfriend comes out to see me. My daughter comes as well. He brings my daughter, and 
Um, you know, last week we were in Edinburgh, which was brilliant, and, and, and my children came to see me oh, wow. and stayed for three days, and we did sightseeing in the day, and, and then me at night on yeah, the show. Yeah, you, yeah. Know, I'm, you know, I'm doing all that. So by the time you've done all that, you're knackered. Do you find it hard, juggling, personal, I've on stage? My whole life. I've done so it my used whole to... life. I've, absolutely. I have a 24-year-old, and I have a 9-year-old. <laughs> And my whole career has been yeah. bringing up my kids with my work. So I, I've always, not, I, you know, I'm very lucky that I've got a great support network at home that when I'm working, everyone's on hands on deck getting involved. So, That's really nice. Yeah, I, I was raised like that. Yeah. My, you know, my grandparents took care of us when my mum and dad were working. And so it's always been a family affair with mm. me. I, I can only do what I do because of the family. Otherwise, I couldn't do it. It's so inspiring I'm getting a little bit emotional no but it's so true I couldn't do no, it no I agree yeah, I there's a lot of people it's very hard because when you have kids you don't want to leave your children with yeah somebody. of you course you don't know who these people are you're on the road next, next minute you know the kids <laughs> the kids like coming home with a bruise and <laughs> you're like hello where'd that bruise come yeah. from no you know it's it's very for me you know it's like I said, even with this show is the same it, you know I can't be good in this show without the team and you know they all make me look good it's as simple as that it's quite weird you said earlier how similar you are to Sylvia and oh, now God, you're yeah. talking I can just see it from watching the show last night like this is so weird yeah, she actually yeah, yeah, is really you're is. like yeah. like you said just you are no, Sylvia thought, Silver thought, is you with an American exactly. accent exactly so and I, true. I thought I was like you know I was saying to someone I had an interview earlier today and I was saying to the guy you know I used to think I was quite unique <laughs> and then I thought to myself well the guy Joe De, uh, De Petrio, the guy who wrote it he you know he's made me realise that I'm definitely not unique you know there's obviously loads of Sylvia's around or well, he's uh, secretly been watching you and no he wrote way. it on he's you he's from the States this guy he's from America he's like stalked you no, and like I written know. a character I mean I've had a, I've had a lot of hits in America and I've toured America twice and stuff but trust me it made me realize that no I am not unique there's a lot of women like me out there and so because um, it feels so tailor-made for me it's interesting like even my, my lawyer came to yeah, the show yeah. my lawyer's been with me for 27 years and so he's like family and he came with his wife and, and he was like but Misha They've written it for yeah. you, you know? and I'm just like, I know, right? It's, it's like, me all over. It's just so weird. It's it's, it's it's hand in glove business, you know. It's crazy. Well, I certainly think that it suits you, and I want everyone to come and see it because it's. I'm not just saying this. Yeah. Probably is the best musical that I have ever seen. That's really great. Really I mean, I, I feel yeah, on a press on a press level too. It's you know, it's interesting that you know you never know how these things are going to go. Yeah. And we, we're not massively funded, you know. And, I mean, I think that's endearing as well, in a way, because it's like even on, on in, in, when you watch the show, you see that everyone is either carrying boxes or doing things and actually yeah, doing. I like that. And I thought that was really cool because I thought, you know what? Sometimes we need to go back to that kind of edginess. Yeah. Sometimes everything's a bit too slick. I, I agree. Uh, do, you, do you know what I loved? Um, the bit on the bus when they they move yeah, the seats yeah, yeah. around and then right at the end somebody just wheels a little toy but I, I just thought that was so, so original cute, so yeah. nice, it's so cute. nice and it's cute. last night when i watched it obviously i was in the press bit yeah and i watched it i watched the different shows each week yeah Last night, there were so many people who normally just sit there yeah. quietly with these massive smiles, tapping <laughs> their legs, getting so into yeah, it, cheering, song. like really, yeah, like yeah, yeah. everyone. And the at thing the I end... Always say, I always say too that, you know, even if you're not an Elvis fan, you're going to love the show. Oh, yeah. It's important, isn't it? Yeah. Because the thing about it, you know, you can go either way. You can really piss off. Yeah. The, uh, the true Elvis fans, like my mother, who's like <laughs> obsessed and thinks that I have never done anything in my career until this point. Yeah. She thinks that's it now. Uh, oh, finally, now you've done an Elvis Finally. Thing. Yeah. You know, after, you know, 30 years in the business. Misha, now you've done the right thing. Oh. Thanks, mum. You know, but that, you know, and she loves the show. So, you know, well, I always use her as a barometer oh. uh, in that way because yeah. this woman cried for like a month when he died. I remember because I was like eight at the time <laughs> and I remember it. It was a big thing when Elvis died. It yeah. was very much like how Michael Jackson, when he died, it was like yeah. that. And I, I remember seeing her just wailing. <laughs> and I remember, I mean, you know, you're a kid, you're eight, you're like yeah. watching your mum and you're like, why are you, what's why are you wrong? Crying? And she's like, Elvis died. <laughs> and I was like, but you didn't even know him. <laughs> and she said, I did. I had all his music and I watched all his movies and I did it. I was like, okay. Yeah. So when I told her that I was yeah. doing this, oh my gosh, it was over. There were some hardcore Elvis. I went to watch it with my dad. I brought my dad along last nice. night. He walked out and he was like, 
I just found it really interesting how they mixed the songs up. I never expected it. He said exactly the same thing. I thought that they were going to just do the normal Elvis songs and there'd yeah. be a bit of talking in between. And he was like, wow, it was so good. Well, the thing is, I think, you I, know, love that. I think, you know, in this time, music has changed to a point where it's not about the lyric anymore, mm. which is really sad. But in those days when they wrote songs, it was all about the lyric. Yeah. And the lyric was the most important thing. And I think the story is... Uh, the songs match the storyline and because the songs had great lyric yeah you know so when you've got great lyrics you're always going to have something good to, to play yeah, against yeah, yeah. you see what I mean and I think that's that's what's unusual is that um, you know even wise men say I can't help falling in love I mean most people you say can't help falling in love most people are going oh, it's so cheesy but when you look at the way it's put in the play yeah you it actually makes you first you go oh it's such a nice song and then you go it makes you think. And oh. it goes, yeah, man, I need to... Have I really yeah. fallen in love? Did I really feel the real love? Did I... I tell you what, I actually sat there. <laughs> it's the first time I've ever got a bit emotional and I've sat there thinking, oh, God, I'm actually seriously thinking and considering my own point now. Yeah. And that's what, it's that's it's what really good. I do. love that, though. Yeah, if you can, good like, like you said, if you can go to a venue and mm. watch all four things in one place... Everyone walked out of that auditorium smiling last yes, night, yes. happy, like that was and awesome. And this is what goes on everywhere and we go. Y- yeah. Every tour, everywhere we've been on this tour, it's been like that. That's I mean, the people just at the end, <laughs> even those really like, you know, you when you're, you know, you when you're on stage, I've got to talk to him because he's here. Yeah. But no, like, you know, when you're on stage and you can literally see certain people yes. who are like, I am not moving tonight. Yeah. I've just come to see this child paper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. By the end of the Flat show. Hand. I'm guaranteeing you, they will be on their feet, yeah. doing, oh, and all of that. I'm I saw a man on crutches last night. He was determined to make his way <laughs> to stand up. He was like, "Come on!" Oh, <laughs> and in the end, I think he got a little helping hand, and he Bless was up on his feet. And I just loved yeah. it. I was like, "Oh, this is so, so nice. important." That, yeah, that happens again. I think. I love that. Romance, I believe, as yes. well, needs to be back in in art. I agree again, with because you because I think everything's gotten a bit so harsh and hard and. You know? Do you know, just really quickly, finally, the one the one thing I say, like, the romance, the passion, mm. which I agree, I think there's sometimes it's, there's a lack of that now in art form. Very Last much. night, mm. it, the whole show, you can feel it throughout, there is a vibe throughout the whole thing yeah. of just complete, like, passion for what you're doing. But and it also makes you, and it, it, makes, and it you re- makes you in and it. it. Yeah, and it also makes you realise as well that, you know, there's something really, more than nostalgic, but we know, we're talking about the 50s, you know, this yeah. was a time women were allowed to be women you know women were curvaceous yeah. and gorgeous yeah. men took their time and did their hair <laughs> and made sure they looked proper yeah it, it makes you realize that you know even the guys opening the doors for women and all of these things that have kind of gotten thrown out for me this show makes you go back to that time and wish even though you weren't there because i weren't there yeah but it makes me go oh where did that yeah. go? Where did those men? Where did those men go? Because they're definitely not in Milton Keynes. I can you assure know what I'm you. I'm saying I'm getting that everywhere. Yeah. I go. Trust me, it's not just Milton Keynes. It's but a disappointing know, time. But it's like, but you know, yeah. it's like those things like that. Everyone's obsessing about all these things. There was something quite really fresh yeah. and very innocent, even with the the sexist yeah. side of the, the the character Chad. You yeah, know, yeah. The, there's it's still something quite endearing about that. Yeah. Even in the sexism, you know what I mean? I know. It's, yeah, I do it's get weird. it. Yeah. Not, you know, and I guess it, in a way that's what that's what makes the show so successful. I think in my mind is that it makes you think and realize that wow, things have really changed. Yeah. And it, it wouldn't hurt for us to just, just visit that. Again. Fifty years ago to now, it's a massive step. Massive. It takes you back. It really does. Yeah. It makes you think. It well, does. I, I, w- I certainly wasn't around then, but I wouldn't have minded. I don't think. Yeah, I wouldn't have minded having yeah. my curves appreciated. Yeah. You know what I mean? It would have been nice. Uh, mm. Someone appreciate them. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us and chatting to us. Thank you, darling. Anytime. Thank Bless. You. <laughs> So I haven't managed to find any blue suede shoes, but I have managed to gain a new major girl crush. Misha Paris, what a babe, and I can't believe how amazing she looks. Check the interview out, make sure that you like it, and keep listening to MKFM Drive from 4 o'clock till 7 o'clock every single day, and soon to be on FM.